Solar eclipses occur when the Earth, Sun, and Moon align, causing the Earth's shadow to block the light from the Moon. The Moon is one quarter the size of the Earth, and during a total eclipse becomes completely shadowed by the Earth. Now, this can cause strange atmospheric effects, including a reddening appearance of the surface of the Moon. But because of the relationship between the Sun, Moon, and Earth, eclipses only occur within a very narrow time frame during a full Moon. Lunar eclipses typically occur two or three times a year, with around a half to a third of those being total. These events also give us great insight into scientific principles and offer us the rare opportunity to see the shadow of the spherical Earth. Now mark your calendars, because the upcoming eclipse on April 15, 2014, will be an excellent time to observe this phenomena firsthand. The total eclipse will only be visible for viewers in the Americas. Sadly, the next three total eclipses will not be visible for our European friends, but I would encourage you all to go to davidreeves.com right now and sign up for our weekly email updates. We'll try to keep you informed of best practices for viewing the eclipse for yourself, specific times, and much more detail. We'll also be trying to photograph the eclipse using the ministry's precision optical instruments, if the weather cooperates. Again, look for pre-eclipse details and post-eclipse photos and information by subscribing to our Creation Weekly at davidreeves.com. That's David, R-I-V-E-S dot com. What a spectacular opportunity to witness one of the wonders of creation. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. Sign up for our email updates at davidreeves.com to receive free content and videos.